We have a lot of unique art shows and festivals here in Metro Detroit, vintage items for the home and, of course, the cars. But this morning, we're talking about vintage items that you can actually wear. Bloomfield Hills Jewelry and Antique Apparel Show is happening today in Bloomfield Hills. And joining us in the studio is a dealer, Suzanne Shaw. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So tell me about this accessory and art show and vintage clothing well uh, it's been going on for 10 years they do it twice a year and uh, I've been lucky enough for the past 10 years to be a vendor at the show um, it is a compilation of uh, jewelry accessories ready-to-wear clothing you have a couture fashions you have designer fashions and then you have everyday wearables that people incorporate into their everyday life who's going to enjoy this event is it just one segment of the population who, oh, who do you no. see here oh no there's um, young teens and all the way up to women in their 80s who love to wear vintage and incorporate it into their daily lifestyle. Uh, you can make it as simple as a hat, a purse, uh, a, a brooch, items like that that um, people wear on a daily basis. And like with any vintage item, you're going to find things that you aren't going to find just any place else. If oh. you buy something new, that's everywhere. This stuff, there may be only one. Right. Uh, the uniqueness of each item um, it can vary from something from the early 1900s to uh, the 70s 80s uh, right now antique uh, vintage clothing people are starting to think of the 90s as vintage as well <laughs> unfortunately that was like last yeah. night <laughs> yeah yeah um, but for me I believe that the, the true vintage wearables are probably between the 40s and the 70s right now. Uh, those are the things that are more desirable for people and that they wear more of. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. How far back are we talking? You mentioned 70s and 30s and 40s. How, right. how far back? Um, there's pieces that go back to the late 1800s, but those are more museum quality pieces. People use them as showcasing in their homes for display. Um, I think what we do today at the show is more what we call the wearables, where people, again, will wear it and um, use it in a daily or for a special event. They want to really stand out in a crowd, make a statement, um, you know, such as with the feather hats, that's very popular. Uh, they're unique, one of a kind um, that you won't find at your local store. And it really makes a statement for the person when they're going to their special event. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for oh, joining sure. us today. Looking forward to learning more All about right. the event. We have more information as well on our website and as well on your screen. And that website address is wxyz.com. Anu? All right.